All right. All right. So, so, you know, let's say you have a situation uh, to work whereby um, you, you absolutely need to apply post security policy. You know, you have uh, EKS, uh, you have EKS cluster. Of course, EKS comes by default with the EKS privilege uh, uh, policy that is bound to um, the authenticated user. Now the problem is that you don't want that to be the uh, you don't you don't want that to uh, be the default PSP for everything in the cluster. So you really want to get rid of that. So it's better to replace that um, PSP with your own uh, default with your own privilege uh, PSP. So we have EKS privilege. So you can create a custom privilege that is by you. It's Excuse me, it's going to be like a replica of the EKS privilege. And what it's going to do is ex exactly the same thing, but the binding is going to be different. Remember, the EKS privilege is, if you look at the cluster rule and the cluster rule binding, it's actually bounded to the every authenticated uh, you know, user. That means every uh, port are going to be, can use it, right? Now, that's a problem. We don't want, um, or PSP, so they apply to uh, all the, even those without security context. Now, so it makes sense to create a custom one and bound that to those that need it. For example, Coproxy, for example, Core DNS, uh, for example, AWS Node, those for that have a privilege or a, a non-default uh, that requires a privilege uh, context to have should be using, should be able to use the privilege, your custom privilege, PSP. And I prefer this approach of, over the AWS provided one because that is simply bounded to everything that is authenticated. And once you have this PSP deployed, you can, you can, um, you can actually just uh, start using that right now. Now the question is that, what about if I have EKS PSP, EKS privilege PSP, and also the custom privilege PSP, right? Which one is your, uh, your admission controller, the PSP admission controller is going to pick, remember, right? So we have two PSP that meets the criteria of satisfying, of admitting the port. So which one is it going to use? So that brings us back to one of the big issue of the policy order, right? It says right here, you know, the policies that accept the port as it is, as it is that means without changing, um, mutating the port, those are going to perfect. So if your custom uh, privilege changes anything, that means it's not going to perfect. It's the EKS uh, privilege that didn't change anything that is going to be perfect. So, um, all right. But apart from that, the general consensus is that um, uh, is that it it follows it goes by the alphabetic order. If if a group of PSP satisfy uh, a pod requirement, that means uh, it's going to use one of them to actually admit the port, right? So now that's going to be a problem. That is going to be absolute problem, right? So you have to be very careful the way you name your PSP, right? Remember, the naming in PSP matters. So take that. So when you're in production, make sure that you're very careful of the way you name your PSP because um, your PSP might end up my your admission controller might end up using the wrong PSP to validate and admit the port, right? And make sure after you deploy your custom privilege PSP, you look at the annotation by the PSP admission admission controller to make sure that it was the port was ad, had been admitted with the right one. And once you verify that your custom um, privilege uh, PSP is working then you can go ahead and remove the, the one that AWS provided, right? Uh, so that's just about some of the things I'm trying to like resolve. 
Uh, well, I already like made a couple of PRs about it and I'm waiting for the PR to be reviewed. Yeah.